Boom, we're on. In today's guest, we've got one of the biggest British porn stars. We've got Ava Cox with a double K. <laughs> double X, is it? Triple X, Triple please. X, sorry. How are we? Yeah, good, thank you. A bit warm out here, though, James. Sitting next to me, you're going to feel the <laughs> fucking temperatures rising. We haven't even started yet. Oh, God. How you been? Yeah, really good, thank you. Really good. Busy, good. You're everywhere, eh? I am indeed. International at the moment. Oh, I had to, had to giggle you, do you know what I mean? Steph seemed to know about you, but... I oh, don't, really? I don't know. Have you been watching? <laughs> 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 fucking old pervert there, Steph. So... I like to go back to the start with my guests. Mm -hmm. You did chin me before you came here and says you don't want to do all that shit, but... Because it's just, I just feel like it's, I don't know. Where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? Mm. <laughs> 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 That's a fucking question. No, we'll go right back to the start, where okay. you grew up. Went to school, went to college. Um, what were you doing at college? I did media at college. Oh, try yeah. to take my job. Well, well, yeah. Um, I did media and I did performing arts. So, yeah, I really liked it. It was good. It was fun. Um, but then I went from, I went from like a normal school to a really, like the college where I went was, it was like when people say like all oh, the posh kids go there and I just thought, oh, <clears throat> like I felt like I didn't really fit in there and the, like the workload that they gave me, I was just like, what the fuck? Like I just didn't know what was going on. But um, yeah, it was good, you know, good times and I dropped out though. <laughs> Because I was shit. Um, come, and then, come rebellious? No, no, I've never really been... Oh, my God, there's a wasp. I've never really... Oh, you and your great ideas. Yeah, Ava, we'll film in a park. <laughs> nice one, James, you knob. <laughs> um, so, rebellious? No, I've never really been rebellious, to be honest. I've never been like... You know, I think a lot of people see pawns. I don't think, oh, she clearly come from, like, a broken home. Or, you know, I didn't. I had, like, my childhood was... Colourful, but always, like, I was never by myself. So loving, caring. Yeah, very. Like, my family are really close. I've got an amazing family. Um, and I'm lucky, like, very lucky. Not a lot of girls in this industry have, you know, the family to turn to, turn to and maybe give them advice and stuff. So I think that's probably why I've done so well in the other things that I do because, you know, I've got my, my parents and I've got, like, a lot of support, mm. which I think your family always ground you. Yeah, I think people paint... People that's in the porn industry or they've kind of they got the usual suspects with the abandonment issues, maybe yeah. being abused, and then the lap dancing, and then yeah. it's the porn. It's kind of all the same kind of steps. But for yourself, if you've got a loving family, caring, yeah. you are very successful. You're known worldwide. Mm -hmm. You've got millions of people who follow you, perverts. I know, it's weird. Do you know what, James? Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I think, like, you never really realise how many followers you've got. Mm -hmm. And then my friend said, compare it to, like, a football stadium. Like, that's a lot of football stadiums. Yeah. But I never really, like... To be honest, I tend... Obviously, I do social media because I need it for my work. But I don't... I I like to have two separate lives, like, my private life and my public life. And at the end of the day, you know, people who follow me, they want to see a porn star. They want to see tits and ass. They're not interested in someone who... And it sounds like... It's a hot, it's, it sounds nasty really to say, but it's the truth. Like none of my followers would be asked about, they don't want to know anything about your life or about you've been to Tesco or you've had an argument or mm -hmm. online or arguing with girls over this or bitching on that. It's not what they want to see. Mm -hmm. They follow you because they want to see tits and arse and they want to wank. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's true though. Like you've just got, and I think, you know, in this industry, you have to keep things separate. You've got to have your work life and your private life. When you start bringing your private life in with your work life, that's when you fuck things up. But how do you separate that to be that character that everybody wants and then separate it from your pri private life? Because that's exactly what it is. It's a character. So how long are you in character for? Say a full day, how long would you be in character for? It depends because obviously every day I do something different. I do my sex parties. I do my live bunny. I also film my own content. I do... Like, I do a lot of things, and obviously I do my social media, so probably in a day, I'd say for about four hours. But then I just need, like, my me time, my downtime. But then obviously if, you, if you're on set for, like, a big company, like, I do a lot of work for Brazzers, Reality Kings, like, that's a 12-hour day, that's, like, intense, but you can't be in character all the time. Like, obviously when you're doing your scene, yeah, you want to do a scene that people go, wow, that's just blown me away. But as soon as you come off scene, everyone's just like sat there chatting or, do you know what I mean? It's not like as intense as what people think, I don't think. So what kind of sex parties? 
So my sex parties are in Belgravia. We hire out an amazing mansion. Um, we have 20 couples that come there and we do themes. Orgies. Massive orgies. Love a sex party. Do you want to come? <laughs> I thought she was cameras on. <laughs> you can be on the VIP, Lee Shane, plus one. I'll get me down. I just, just for research and shit, do you know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> research purposes. <laughs> is that what it is, 20 couples? Yeah. We keep them small because I feel like you get a better experience when you've got an intimate party opposed to loads of people just shagging everywhere. I know, it's terrible. Oh, I know. I've got so, a hard life, Anna. We'll touch on this as well. A lot of people think porn industry, porn stars, sluts, cows, easy lays, easy shags. That's not the case. Is it fuck? Like, to be honest, like, this is what you've got to think. I know what people probably think, no, because that is the character of you portray yourself. Listen, so you've got to understand why people think that. I understand why people think that because at the end of the day, yeah, we are having sex on camera. So the only thing that if someone's never met me before and they've seen me on Pornhub squirting my head off, then they're going to think she's a slut. Mm -hmm. That's what you would think. Like, I get it. And I don't expect people to, you know, understand. I, I don't, to be honest, I don't really want people to know, like, my life and my personal life. If I'm doing my job and I'm getting them views and I'm getting them sales, then I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, what people think of me, I don't really give a fuck. You would need to have that mentality, though, yeah, of to course be in that have. job. Yeah, because you get, like, I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of, like, online trolls and stuff and like touch wood i'm dead lucky like i don't really have a lot of people trolling me like compared to some girls who get like the worst abuse ever and i just think wow like that's horrible yeah fuck those wet wipes anyway because... i know i just call them sit there fucking with on the keyboard warriors giving it yeah. the big and wanking fuck off you gobshite they are the worst cunts yeah, the in the world um <laughs> I get them, everybody gets them. I don't, now I'm more thick skinned, it doesn't even bother me now. That's just a reflection of them. That is just the weak, the vulnerable, and the scared who just haven't got the balls to make moves or do anything with of their course, life. Of course, of course. They hate other people. So, what about relationship status? How all over the place? Relationship status. Can I just say I'm having fun? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all not? I mean, but there comes a time, do you think you could ever settle down? I don't know. Or do you worry when you meet someone, do you think what he may think portray you as because of your character? Is it hard? This is what I'm no, talking about, the balance. You know, it's, it's. I think, I mean, this is just my personal opinion. And I know a lot of porn stars do have relationships when, you know, they're working and stuff. Me personally, if you're with a guy who's all right with what you're doing, then he's not your fellow, he's your pimp. <laughs> it's as simple as that like why would you if you're if you're there's a guy walking past that's the okay job, we have this conversation no still? chance to bring it on <laughs> like i just think if you if you're with someone and you're saying that you love them and they're your world and this and that then why are you all right with him going getting nailed off six guys coming home with a load of spunk in their arm and saying hey babe how was your day mm. like for me that's not i mean listen so it's each to their own, but I would never be with someone who said, yeah, babe, you know what? It's all right if you used to go and do that. If I was with someone, it'd be right. Job done, that's it. Nothing mm. else. Move on, start a fresh, clean slate. But it'd have to be someone with a character where who could go, yeah, she's done this. And what? She's with me now. Yeah, you, need to, you would need to accept that. it. But so for you to settle down, you would need to quit everything. Oh, yeah. I, well, I, I'd quit shooting, but I wouldn't quit, like, my sex parties or anything like that. <laughs> Fuck that. What are you fucking messing? <laughs> no, I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't quit, but I'd, I'd stop shooting and I'd stop. I would only be having sex with that person, if that makes sense. And the parties? I don't have sex when I'm at the parties. I, I host the parties amateur. there, I? Fucking amateur. <laughs> Edit that out. Amateur. <laughs> Fuck off, Fuck James. Sick. So, that, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking weird industry. Oh, there's a wasp again. So how did um, how did you get involved in the industry at the very start? Um, so it was weird. So ever since I was younger, I've always loved like shagging. Well, yeah. To be fair, <laughs> <I'm> not. <just laughs> no, don't put that. Cut that out. Um, <laughs> um, I've always like, I've always, I've always been intrigued by sex. Like sex intrigues me, and. I was with a guy who... Older. Older. Fit. Fit. Older, fit. I call him Mr. Big. Anyway, I was with a guy for, like, quite a while and we just used to have a mad sex life. Like, we just... 
we just had, we had like the best times and we were like the best friends in a way. It was weird, like a weird, mm. it wasn't like a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. It was more of like, I say more like of a friendship relationship, but fucking loads of shagging. Anyway, and he was Benefits, sort of, friends with benefits. Absolutely. And he sort of opened me up to just different things, really, like different sexual things that I'd never seen before. So I was like, oh, I want to try this, I want to try that. And then that's how I tried the sex parties and, you know, all the other things that go with it. And then, and like, we used to watch porn together. And I watched it one day and I thought, I could fucking do that. So I said, right, get the iPad. So we got the iPad out and we're like, this is like when iPads first come out. We like placed the iPad on like on a chair and like we filmed ourselves. And I watched it and I thought, I'm in it to win it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Is that a light bulb moment and for you? And that was a light bulb moment and I thought, right, fuck it. So, and then to be honest, after that, it was literally like a whirlwind. I got him a really good friend of mine. He... He was like really into, he was really, really into porn and I, I didn't really know much about the business or the girls in the industry. And he said, well, you need to set, set up a Twitter. Well, I was like, oh, I don't know how to do that. So he said, I'll start it out. I'll, I'll set it up for the first week. I'll show you how to run it. And then you sort of like take over it from that. Within the first day I got on there, I got, I got flew up. So that was the first day it went on. And then a massive company called DDF, who were like Europe based, messaged me two days in and said, We want to fly you. Sorry, we want to shoot you and fly you over to Prague. So I was thinking, Oh my God, like my first pawn shoot. I'd never been on a pawn set before. So I've turned up with condoms, no search, <laughs> not a fucking clue. Like the director's looked at me and he's like, Hey, for how many scenes have you done? And I was like, Oh, this is my first. And I was like a bit nervous, so they had to take me to the clinic, get my test done. And then I come back, did the scene, and he just said to me, you're going to be a fucking superstar. But she are now. And here I fucking am. <laughs> no, <I'm> joking. <laughs> Again, we'll touch on that because a lot of people think the porn industry is dirty. It's the cleanest oh girls in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Compared to some of the fucking slags out there. Yeah, this are... is the thing, and this is what really, like, pisses me off. Like, you've got so many girls who are so quick to jump on you. Like, she's a slut, she's this, she's that. Hang on a minute, babe. I've seen you in China White on a Saturday night. <laughs> I've seen you. I've seen you mm -hmm. bent over in the toilet for a line of coke and a fucking shot of Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. So don't start telling me that I'm dirty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But you're going to get that everywhere. Yeah, of everywhere. course. But this is what, this, it just makes me laugh because I think we've got to get tested every two weeks to do our job. Mm -hmm. Like, like the porn industry is so clean because it has to be if it wasn't then then porn wouldn't be able to exist you can't shoot with dirty people so you don't know you're going to meet on a saturday night or you're fucking on a one night stand do you think it's at an all-time high the porn industry i think at the moment it's at an all-time high for performers to increase their earnings mm -hmm. because social media yeah you've got i mean it's crazy you've got when i first started doing porn I mean, obviously you had your social media, but it was the production companies that boosted you. So say you shot for Brazzers and then they put you on their Twitter, you'd get known through them. Mm. Whereas now girls have got Snapchat, OnlyFans, Admire Me, Live Bunny, Bad Bunny. And this is all places where girls can make their own content. They can put it onto a site and they can charge a subscription fee like Brazzers, like Reality Kings, like all these places. And they're making money. Like you can, you've got your premium Snapchats, you've got, you know, you've got now it's more, I think porn now, because there's so many people that have done, everyone's seen porn. There's not really much now that you can do that people haven't seen. Mm -hmm. What, what you can do though, as a performer now is give them a custom. So give them something that they will not get on another. They won't get watching a scene on Pornhub. They'll, they'll message you and say, Ava, can you do me a video with a dildo and this and that and can you say my name can you do this can you do that you can send them that video and charge a fortune for it so you're getting paid in all directions when you're sleeping when i sleep waking and up. Yeah. so what is snapchat i've seen birds with that yeah so you can have a premium paid snapchat much, does, much is that a month you, you can charge whatever you want on it i mean you've got like instant i'm not really sure about my about snapchat because i don't do premium snapchat and i personally think if you're charging for every single avenue people are just going to think you're a cheeky cunt Whereas you've got to give people some things for free. Mm -hmm. So I get my Snapchat's free, but I have OnlyFans and... What's your Snapchat? <laughs> James! <laughs> what is that anyway? It, it, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. What? Do, no, what is your, do you know what I put it on now? I'll put it on No, now. wait. What now? But if it's free, people can... Is yeah, it not better for you? I would say it. Do you know yeah, what? No. It's Ava Cox. 
Snapchat. My Snapchat is Ava Cox. A V A K O. And that's free for people. That's free. There you go. Fuck's sake. <laughs> a real deal, you know what I mean? Throwing away there. money. <laughs> Throwing away money. And then I've got my OnlyFans, um, which I do do a lot of content on there. And I also have my own editor, my own film crew, my own photographers. Like everything I do, like this is a porn's a big business. And I think, you know, people think, oh, she's just doing this. Like it's, porn is a massive business. And if, if if you know your business and, you know, you work out right, you always... Do you ever get tired though? Do you ever get tired of looking at dick? No, because I love my job and I love cock. No, don't put that in, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> Nothing gets edited, by the way. That was a lie just to get you here. That was a fucking lie. Nothing gets edited. But do you ever get sick and go, oh, fucking put it away? Give me a break today. Well, no, because I don't really do it every day. But you know what does really wind me up? Like when someone sends me like a cock picture on the DMs, I'm like, ew. You still get that? Yeah, and I just think, I don't want to see you three centimetre cock. It doesn't turn me on. <laughs> Is that you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't turn me on. I'm not interested. And, and then they put underneath, rate my cock. I feel like writing back, what cock? Are you mad? <laughs> like, what? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I Fuck off. Saying. I need to fucking stop sending it about then. <laughs> so for your life then, do you get drained? Drain. Like trying to whiff the character and putting the mask on constantly? Um, I think sometimes you've, I, do, I never get drained because I never push myself to, to the limit where I think I can't do this, I can't cope. What would the limit be for you, do you think? Well, I'm having a break this week because in the last, I'm having a week off and I've not had a week off for months but in the last like four weeks i've been in paris london dubai twice uh marbella barcelona like it's a lot it's a lot to yeah. do and i'm just i'm i just feel now i just think oh you know what i need to like kick back and put my feet up a bit yeah i think so and listen as much as you can glamorize the porn industry and travel the world and it's great making money but there was one of the girls digested yeah. is it Jesse, yeah. Jesse, something. It can also be a stress because a lot of the girls in that industry yeah. are also suicidal. Listen, I've, I mean, this is, I'm so glad you touched on this because, you know, I know, I do know, which is so sad to say, a lot. I know three girls who have committed suicide. One of my friends committed suicide a long time ago, but she was in the same industry. She wasn't doing porn, but she was doing escorting. Mm -hmm. And she committed suicide, which was horrible. Then another girl who I knew tried to throw herself off a bridge and she got sectioned. And this is all in the sex industry. Um, there was August Ems. She um, committed suicide because she had online trolls. So, you know, I think to be in this business, you've got to be thick skinned. Like, it, and I think people have got to realise, like, it hurts when people say things online. See, it hurts when people say, oh, she's this or she looks like that or... but. As a performer, you've got to understand you're putting yourself out there. So you will get people who are saying it, but maybe just be a bit more careful or think a little bit more like these girls. Some of them aren't stable. Some of them haven't got, you know, family grounding. Some of them haven't got people who they can go to and say, you know what, I feel really upset today. And when people don't talk about how they feel, that's when all stuff like this happens. And, you know, all in, even in the last like year and a half, Four porn stars have died. Like, it's a fucking joke. How does that affect you? It makes me sad, but it doesn't It doesn't affect what I'm doing because, I mean, it. oh my God, it makes me so sad to think that someone would be in that position to think I don't want to be here anymore because someone is is on is sat there on behind their laptop saying that I'm this and I'm that. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, porn stars get paid to have sex on camera. I get it. And everyone gets it. But what they don't... And they don't deserve, like, girls don't deserve to be just just thrown, like, in the fucking lion's den. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. Like, it's horrible to, like, like I said before, like, I don't really get trolled because, I, I, I don't know, I'm lucky, really. I don't get trolled, but I know girls do. And, like, they've rang me up crying, saying, oh, Ava, you know, I can't cope with this because someone's rang me and said I'm fat or someone's rang me and said that just, like, horrible things. Like, it's not nice. Mm -hmm. Do you know what of I mean? Of course, it's difficult. But again, it's not just the porn industry where people commit suicide, it's everywhere in the world. Of course, but so, I think a lot of girls in porn do have, I wouldn't say issues, but some aren't as lucky as others. And yeah. I think everyone needs to be respectful of that. Like, so they're doing a job at the end of the day. Have they made you come after you've just watched them on mm -hmm. Pornhub? Yeah. 
So mm. that's their job. They've done their job. They've yeah. done what they're here to do. Is that what you see yourself as doing the industry as a job? It's a job. Character. It's a character. Do you have a look at the other side of it when you take the cameras away and, and think about how you're getting treated then also? Does that ever, you ever no, because I get, dig deep into it that way? I get treated really nice. Uh -huh. Like, I'm lucky. I don't have, like, why would you want to be nasty to someone who's not nasty to you? Like, my mum always said to me, and my grandma, you'll get everywhere in your life with manners. And it's true. Of course, manners is everything. It is. How did they treat you when you started? Oh. Were you nervous? You must have been nervous, no matter how. What, me, who, who yeah, my family? Yeah. Oh, I thought, nightmare. Um, yeah, but like, listen, I mean, obviously it probably wasn't the uh, path that my mum set out for me, but, you know, she sees what I'm doing now and she sees the life that I live and she knows I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm happy. And Are you the tallest in porn star in Europe? Yeah, or one of the biggest, Anna. <laughs> Or one of the biggest in the world? Six, yeah, six, six feet two? Yeah, six two. So, yeah. so see when you're meeting men do they have to be a certain height for you no and do you know what it is james i'm a, I'm, a, I'm terrible like i like small men <laughs> honestly i'll like, take my shoes off <laughs> how tall are you Five, no, ten. I no i do i like smaller men but i like <laughs> i do it's weird in it but is that like, because you're more controlling what have been control no because, it, no because i don't like i don't think i'm really like that like in my scenes oh my god i'm so dominant but that's what i get paid to do that's what people want to see me doing because I'm big, so they want me to throw someone around or do something mad. But <laughs> they do, though. Like, I remember once I went on set and I thought, you're messing. And it was like, right, Ava, you need to pick this guy up. You need to, like, do all these bench... Is that what it's called? Bench, bench press. press. I've said I'm not fucking bench pressing someone. Uh -huh. Are you mad? Uh -huh. And it was like, well, I think it looked really good on camera. And, I mean, this is the difference. <laughs> I can turn around to these producers and go, get to fuck. Uh, Whereas some girls can't do that. They've not got, you know, th these producers can say, I want you to do that. It'll make you a superstar. Mm -hmm. And they'll go, okay, okay, I'll do it. Like, I don't need to do that shit. I've earned my stars and stripes. Yeah. So you've got a more say to say yes and no. Yeah, absolutely. Compared to some of the, do you think a lot of, some other girls get forced to do it also? I don't think they get forced to do it. That's a strong word. I think they sort of get groomed into doing it. Yeah. When they don't really know what they're doing, and then you could get a producer going, baby, I'm going to make you a star. You're going to make all this money. You just see all these little butterflies in their heads oh. and think, yeah, I'm going to do it. And you know what? It's not because what they'll do, they'll film it. And then save, save it's not for a big company, just like a normal production. They'll film it and then they'll keep that content. And then they'll sell that content one, two, three, four, five times over. Before you know it, everything, all the videos are on X2, X, what is it called? Red Tube, Pornhub, like all the big massive sites. She's got a shit fee. He's still making money off her name and she's not signed a model release farm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So a lot but of people, people do take the piss. Yeah, a lot of people aren't clued up. No, they're not. And this is this is what I say to all the girls who come like and work for me on Live Bunny or, you know, they come and do sh they, they shoot with me. They all have a model release farm. They all know what they're getting. They all know where the content's going to go. All the content's branded. Like, you don't need these yeah obviously you need to work for companies to make your name but this is how you know you get big on your only fans and stuff because you need you, you get your fans mm -hmm. so once you've got your fans and you've got your base and people start to know you shoot for a few companies but big companies i mean i've never shot for i've only shot for the best companies in the world who are the best but i'd say brazzers I, I love shooting for Brazzers. And I had, a, do you know what? When I first started porn, which was amazing, I did my DDF scene and then I got flew to LA to work, um, which was amazing for Brazzers in LA, which does not happen to a lot of English porns. But it never happens. Like that's, that's just amazing. And looking back now, I wish I'd have been like, I wish I could have appreciated it more, but I didn't have a clue. I didn't know who anyone was. Mm -hmm. I was walking up to porn stars who have been in the business for years going, so how long have you done porn for, babe? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't even know who they were and they're like massive names. Mm -hmm. But it, I think it was good how I went like that because I didn't, there's, there, was no, there was no lick arse in there. Well, there probably was a bit of lick arse in, but not and that way. And the scenes maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not that way, Bill James, not that way. <laughs> What's um, the worst thing you've ever get asked to do? Oh, right. Oh my God. So... I know I can't say it. Shape bag. No. If you don't like it, we'll edit it no. out. Right, okay. So I've got... No, but if I can say something about midgets, will I get midget hate? No. Right, okay. So... I don't think so. <laughs> so fuck off, James. Go. So they wanted me to... <laughs> Matt, I get like... I get really scared about really small people. I thought people. you like small people. No, but not that fucking small. Not like dwarves. <laughs> and, and, and it was like, right, Ava, we've got a great scene for you. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is what I mean. 
Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I said, get to fuck. <laughs> no fucking chance. I don't so, know what I'm doing it. So you and Seven Midgets? Yeah. Is it a word? You can, is it a midget if you're small? Is it a, word? a dwarf? Is it yeah, a, dwarf. a dwarf? Yeah. That's a, that's a good scene, that. <laughs> Fuck off, James. I'm not doing that. I said, I said I've, got, I've got to have sex with seven dwarves. No, not for me. Pick someone else. Shite bag, you're amateur. Again, mate, we've got an amateur here, Steph. Listen, I'm not an amateur. Just, I mean, you've got to think. Like, all these mad things that they want you to do. I remember I did... So that was seven dwarves there ready to shag you? Proper redder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the rank fucking industry, right, man. Fuck I tell you. I'm in no, the rank industry. Like, like, this is the thing, like, I did a scene for Brazzers, right? And it was a scene with Jordy, who's now one of the biggest, the biggest contracted performers for Brazzers. And when I seen him, I walked on set and I thought, he looks about 10. Like, I was like, where's your IDs? I thought, no, I can't do it. Anyway, we did this scene. It went viral. It was on banners on Pornhub. It was on all the massive tube sites. It went crazy. Now, that that scene did boost my career. Yeah, it's good for business. Yeah, it's amazing for business, but that's what now porn has got to the point where people are clicking through porn all the time and they're seeing tits, ass, funny, this, this, that, that, that. They want to see something that's different. If they're seeing someone, like, picking someone up and throwing them around and sucking the cock, they're uh -huh. going to be like, oh, what's that clickbait? <laughs> it is clickbait, what, so, But what can be different then that's never been done? Well, in 2019. What I, I personally think... My, what about this robot shit? What? There are these robots, like men, yeah, female. Yeah, I just think they're a bit weird. Like someone said to me, Ava, do you want to do it? Someone wanted to brand a sex doll of me. I thought, well, number one, me turning up at the fucking door in Royal Mail, sit all six foot two of me. <laughs> How are you going to explain that to your neighbours? So somebody wanted to... Yeah, someone wanted to like clone me as a sex doll and I thought, <laughs> no, you get bored of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> but imagine, imagine that. Your postman there is your deliverer. No, I just said, no, it's not for me. Like, I think it's a bit weird. I feel like things like that separates you from, like, society. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to have sex with humans, not robots. Mm -hmm. But that's, a, that's a, the road we're going down. It's creepy. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Like, I did virtual porn, mm -hmm. and that was the weirdest thing I've right, ever So shot. what's that? So, basically, you have goggles. So, no, I don't have goggles. So, the you, if you was watching it, you'd wear goggles. And then, so you look down with your goggles like that, and, and it looks like I'm sucking your cock. So when you shoot it... Where do we get these goggles? I'll get you a pair. Don't you worry. So what? So they think... So they're looking through a screen. Right, so when you're... But, where's, but if they're only seeing it, where's the, is there, where's the feeling? No, but this is the thing. So so when I, when you're shooting it, you've got the light, the guy just like lying down like this and there's about 10 cameras around his head. So it's pretty hard to shoot. So you've got to like... They go whisper in his ear. Fucking ear. I ain't cameras in my eye alone. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. But yeah, once you get like in the swing of it, it's fine. That is fucking weird. So for yourself, mm -hmm. going forward, yeah. What's the plans for you? Um, You've seemed to have achieved everything. Yeah, You've, um, I think you're everywhere. You're global. I, it's crazy. I mean, sometimes I look, I sit down, and I think, fucking hell, like it is crazy. But for me, I, I just I love my job and. I love my work and I get to do, like, I, I'm living an amazing life and I'm, you know, I've got an amazing relationship with my family. I've, I'm just, I'm where I want to be right now. So I don't know where I want to be in the future, but all I can say is right now, I'm really happy. Ever hang up the condoms and leave the industry? You ever yeah. seen that happen? I mean, well, yeah, because now, like, obviously the stuff that I do now, I don't really shoot as much. Like, I have never shot a lot of scenes. I have only shot for the biggest companies that will give me the most recognition and the most, you know, the most traction. So I've probably not shot that many scenes, but now I do all my own stuff. So when so people are seeing me on a Brazzers scene doing all mad stuff mm -hmm. and then they go on to my OnlyFans and I've called it At Home with Ava and they see me, like, raw fucking, they love it. Because it's something that they haven't seen mm -hmm. before. What's the stuff you've got on your Instagram story just now? The new, this what? new is it a website, a film, or there's a new thing you're putting on your... I don't know if it's a clothing brand or it's... Which one? I don't know. It's on your Insta story in the last few days. It's like a brand that keeps popping up you and your... Live bunny. Is that what that oh, is? I was thinking, I've got a few things coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically that's what I'm like... So what the fuck is this live, live Bunny? So basically Live Bunny is webcam and I have my own shows on there. Right. So we have girls who do webcam for us and we also have... So we've got girls who... It, they, can, they don't need to be porn stars. They can be anyone from down the road. Like, mm. it doesn't... 
Not, no, there we go. Not get yourself in. Just down the road. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Though, like, if you're doing webcam, you don't need to be a porn star. You can be. It's ageless. Like, you can be an older woman. You can be a younger girl. You know, it's it's. Well, let's say from 18, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, so we have girls on doing webcam on Live Bunny and then I do my own shows called Ava Cox and Friends where I hire five porn stars to okay. come and shoot with me for the day. We have, um, and it's all got to get streamed live on webcam. Mm-hmm. So people pay a pay-per-minute view and then watch me and five porn stars have a fucking big orgy. Fuck <laughs> Fancy shit. being the cameraman, I'm, James. <laughs> not a problem. You busy next week. <laughs> He's got his hand up, by the way. So, what's the oldest man you've ever been with? Oldest? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, I don't know, old, old. Like I'd sex uh, with him. Fucking or? old as fuck, yeah. Um, well, not really that old. Are they not in the industry? Old geezers? No, fuck that, I'm not shagging old men. No not dwarfs like, and old no, men. Du- no dwarfs, no OAPs. Can't uh-huh. be asked. Been there, done that. What's not the <laughs> the most? How many men in one day? On a scene. Yeah. Not that many, too, because what? Is that, so, that? Fucking hell, yeah. Listen, this is what you've got to understand, James, about this industry. Fake as fuck that industry. It's all edited no, bullshit. Listen, this is what you've got to understand in this industry. I could go and shoot a fucking double anal six guy gangbang for a company in Prague who would give me a day rate. Why? So they can make fucking thousands and thousands off that scene mm. when I can have my own production company, I'll hire every single one of the guys, I'll get every single one of them to fuck me and I'll get the royalties for the rest of my life. Good so thinking. I'll sit there and lie in bed. I might have a sore ass, I might have a sore <laughs> jaw, but I know when I wake up, I'm making a fortune. Do you know you, what I mean? Do you get sore? Yeah, I do get Do sore. you? Where? Yeah, like, like, oh, listen, James, the worst experience, right? So I've gone to LA. It was my first anal scene for Brazzers, like an mm. exclusive scene. I was fucking buzzing. I thought, I'm ready. Right. So there was like anal prep, blah, blah, blah. Now. What is anal prep first? Well, so when, so now, well, obviously when you do an anal scene, which now I do know, you have to prep. So you have to douche. You can't eat 24 hours before you're seen. You have to take like a modium to bung you up because the last thing you want to see on a porno is like shit. shit. Do you know what I mean? Unless you're into that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm weird like that. I'm too clean. I can't. See, I know a few dominatrix. They like that shit. Oh, see, there's no need for it. Like, just fucking sort yourself out. <laughs> Don't come on a set, dude, sir. <laughs> like, fuck off. No. So, anyway, I've gone to LA and Kieran Lee, who's like, he's got his cock insured for a million pounds. He said to me, Right, Ava. So this, I've never done an anal scene before. He said, right, Ava, there's the bottle. Like, it was like an enema. There's the bottle. So I said, what do I do with it? He said, just stick it up your ass before you come the night before. So I said, right, okay. So I remember sat there in this hotel thinking, oh, that bottle's massive. Anyway, I thought, I can do it, I can do it. So I'm sat on the toilet, I've stuck this bottle up, mate. And I've rang him and I said, Kieran, I was sweating. And I'm going, Kieran, I'm in so much pain, I'm in so much pain. And he's going... What do you mean you need so much pain? I said, this, this enema, it's killing me. It's proper hurting me. And he's like, where's the bottle? I was like, up oh, me ass. He was like, Ava, you're only supposed to put the tip in. I was like, ah. So I was like, trying to get this bottle out of my ass. And then the next day I went on set, like the biggest producer in the business. And I'm live there with my legs in the air. And they're going, well, I think we're going to have to make it a boy girl scene today. I was like, oh, that killed me. Fuck's sake. <laughs> so how do you keep it young and fresh down, down below? I think you've just got to look after it. Do you look after it? Yeah, of course it? I do. Like, you've got to do, like, your pelvic exercises and you've just got to keep it clean. Like, no one wants a dirty pussy, do they? It's going to come a time, but it's going to be hanging. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so it is. Well, your time's up. That's when the curtains are closed. Listen, you listen, need to... Sat on a gold mine, but you always know this gold mine's going to come to an end soon. But this is the thing. If it does, so what? I'm not asked. Like, I'll just shoot. I, this is the thing now. Like I can ring porn stars up, the biggest names in the business, and say, do you want to come and shoot with me? Do you want to come and shoot for me? None of them turn me down. They're not going to, because at the end of the day, I've got a massive social media outreach. Everyone knows... Everyone pretty much knows who I am. I don't mean sound that like big yeah no fuck it confident man like I don't mean but yeah people know who I am in the industry so for someone who's brand new to the industry to shoot with me I'll put them on my social media and on my Insta and on my Twitter and stuff Mm. their name people start following them they're they're getting their fans how long have you been in this industry five years it's no long I've done you know what I've done amazing like like touch wood it still carries on but you know I've I, I have done really well but I've not really got any passion now for shooting with other companies like I'm, I'm over that like I'll do the odd scene but that's just to keep me fresh on the porn up sites the tube sites mm. I really want to now focus on 
you know, shooting my own stuff, my own content, my own brand. That's the stuff. How I'm does that go against though the big producers, the ones who've already got their companies, you know and you're kind of become competition now? No, because they're always going to have like they make money off their advertisements, they make money off all different things, and you know, like I, I was listening to a podcast the other day called The Butterfly Effect about a guy who invented Pornhub and how it like changed porn for like you for for everyone really and i think you know i'm not any competition i've got my fans and i, I would I, they would never see me as a threat like it, it it is what it is do you know what i mean oh, fucking shit for the stars dream big yeah of course and these porn hubs got to have started somewhere yeah absolutely and like one of my scenes that i've had is had like over 37 million views which is fucking mad like 37 million how many people even is that that's a lot of tissues been wasted oh, isn't it? that's a lot of wet that's a lot of trees been fucking do you know cut what down. i thought about and i thought <laughs> i need to watch this scene again uh -huh. why is everyone watching it and i watched it and i thought yeah i'm a dirty bastard <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite scene all time um is there one that stands out with you if you go, mm. oh, I really did that, that was, that was good work? I think my scene that made me who I am is my fake taxi scene, which it, it, a fake taxi can either make you or break you. Um, my scenes that I love, all my brother's scenes I love, my reality king scenes. Um, I did an amazing scene actually recently with a guy called Chris Diamond who's just won um, Best Male Performer at the Expies Award. He's got a massive cock and he's great to shoot big. with. Fucking massive. I see How it. big? Big like that. Fucking nothing. Babe, no. it was... <laughs> go on then. God <laughs> shite. <laughs> fucking nothing. If YouTube would let me, it would be a problem. <laughs> it was about that big, but like fat. And I seen it and I thought... It's all the wee skinny guys that have got the big tadgers yeah, on it. like... I, Why well, is that? I don't know, but I did a scene with Danny D and they said to me, it's got to be anal. And I thought, oh, you're messing... Anyway, I did it and I had to drive home for like maybe four hours after the scene. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I had to sit on a bag of peas. Did like, you? Yeah, I'm not even lying. Like my ass was proper sore. What? what? Listen, you try putting something like that big up your ass. Fucking games. nothing. I'd be double the size of that. <laughs> so you still get pain. Do you ever have to go to the doctors and go, look, I'm a fucking porn star. I've just had it up the ass. It's killing me. Can you take a wee look? <laughs> Well, 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 no, not really. No, well, no but I have, like, obviously... You've, have you got doctors and shit stand yeah, by? Yeah, like, I mean, in, in porn, you obviously, like I said, you've got to get tested every two weeks, and then you've got to get your PCR test, which is your early indication of HIV. Hmm. Um, so you have to get all that stuff done. But in terms of, like, I'm dead open, like, if you're doing porn, they need to know what you're doing, else they can't treat you right. You can't, like, sit there and the doctors go, oh, yeah, well, I got shagged up the ass. No, you say, listen, I did a porn scene, it's porn scene the other day, I did oh. a double, I did this, this, I think I've hurt myself, and they'll treat you like, that's, you know, you'll know you'll get the right treatment if oh. you're just truthful. You're good friends with George Leo also. Yeah, He's also George, a good yeah. friend of mine. Yeah. Um, I can't understand her though half the time. I can't I love fucking her. understand her either. <laughs> Have you ever done a scene together? Yeah, I've done a few. Have you? Uh, yeah. I'm I probably do. kidding on her. I don't know. <laughs> why, are you, why are you saying you don't know? I don't though? know. I'm trying to yeah. the good image. Do you know what she did to me actually, the little fucker? It was like years ago this. And um, she was like, running chasing her after me with this big dildo and I was going George <laughs> fuck off and she's going even look it's really good let me try yeah. on you and like I was pinned to the bed and she was like see I told you it was good my fucking legs was everywhere but it was a great mm -hmm. scene I've done a few and then Georgie's come on live funny as well and done a day with me there yeah I love Georgie she's yeah. um she's you know what I think she's like I mean I don't really speak to a lot of girls in the porn industry I know them, but I don't really speak to a lot of them. But George is one of them who, you know, we've all, I've got a lot of time for her. She's a lovely yeah, she's girl. As fuck. And, you know, she's it, at the end of the day, like I said before, it's a business and there's not many girls who treat it like a proper business. George yeah. does. That's why I like her. If you're in it, you've got to treat you've it like a business. It to win it. But again, like you were saying about your upbringing, there was plenty of love there. A lot of people don't have that. A lot of people are doing this for maybe the wrong attention or whatever, no treating it as. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I so do it can be difficult. That. Yeah, I understand that. But like, I, you, you you can't like judge people on why they're doing it or why they want to be there. Like that's not my business to say. Have you ever had low like, points yourself? Low points um, in the industry? We felt fuck this. I'm out. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, no. Like I, honestly, I've been proper lucky. Like I've never thought like this is like no because everything I've done, I've done in a way where it's always I've always gone one better. Yeah. So like obviously. I started porn quite, not late, but 
you know, I didn't start young, so people can't take the piss like they can out of young girls. So I'll hold out for an anal scene or like I've been asked to do DP scenes, this scene, that scene. Yeah, I'll do that scene. What's DP? Double penetration. Two dicks? Yeah. Two dicks sounds better, doesn't it? Only on a Saturday. No, don't say. <laughs> Two D. Is that what is that DP? Yeah, DP. So, but oh, thing, like, that's I'm fucking th heavy. <laughs> to be fair, I know, <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, should I have said that on air? But yeah, obviously, I'm going to shoot that myself, and I'm going to do my own DP scene. And like I said before, I'll hire the the porn guys, and I'll hire. I'm, I've got my whole production team, and I'll produce that film, and then I'll sell that film, and that that is my like I'll give maybe five minutes to Pornhub or whatever you've got to give them, and then I'll put give them a link to my site so people will go on that, they'll see where it's from, it'll throw them to my site. You know that's how you're making your turnover. Where does the business mindset come into play? My, dad, family. Yeah, um, yeah, my dad yeah. and my mum. To be honest, like. My dad's like a successful businessman, so yeah, mm -hmm. we've always like I've I've, I've never really been on the breadline ever in my life. Uh -huh. So is that what you're doing, creating your own content and then selling yeah. it? So how does that work then? If you make a film, do you pitch it to people then? No, I don't pitch it. I just put now. Well, now I've got my fans, so I'll set. Oh, is that a horse? Can you get that on the camera? Bring it over. <laughs> get a sandwich. Hiya, how are you? <laughs> See, I live in the most mobile areas, James. <laughs> only near the truth. I know, yeah. only near the fucking truth. Behind trip. closed doors. <laughs> um, yeah, so now when I do, like, my content and stuff, I will write on social media, on Twitter. Or like, I can't really write a lot on Insta because it's like, you've got to be careful what you're writing on there. But Twitter... Can you shut your account down now? Yeah, I had mine shut down twice. It was fucking horrible. How many people did you have? Babe, I had 600,000 followers gone in a day. I was like, Ugh. and then it, it was a troll. And then, the, and he shut down over 70 girls, 70 porn stars accounts, this little cunt. Why? Because he's a little weirdo, little keyboard warrior. I don't know. I don't know who he is. I don't care, but he just needs to fuck off. Stop interfering with my work. But is that guidelines, like no tits, no ass? Well, now, when I got mine back after the second time, I thought, because obviously, you, like, your Instagram's your money. Like, Did you have tits out the first one? No, but it, it was a bit, it was, it was a bit, it was a little, right, how can I say, it was a bit more racer than what I've got now. So I just deleted everything on it and I just started again and I've just got to keep it really vanilla. But I've still got my followers, so I've still got my account back, so I'm not bothered. And my followers know that if I put a swipe up onto my OnlyFans, then they know what they're getting on my OnlyFans. But if I put it on my Twitter, I can put a sneak. So say I do, con like, for instance, the other night I did content with two guys. I was just thinking was the one or was the two, there was two. Must be a good night. And they it? were lucky fuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I did content with them and then I sent it off to my editing team. Uh -huh. They edited it and then sent me the video back and I put like a 30, 40 second clip of it on my Twitter with a link to what my site. As soon as they've as soon as people see it, link subscriptions, messages. Yeah. Easy as that. Easy as that. Is it easy as that? Do you ever, what's the creepiest message you've ever had? Oh, I get the weirdest message. Do you ever get stalkers? Yeah, fucking weird. Do you? Calls, yeah. I was in Dubai the other week and I put on, oh yeah, I've got, actually there's a few. I was in Dubai the other week and I put on a, a photo around the pool and next minute this mad crazy man was just popped up like, Ava, I love you, I have seen you on my, I was like, who the fuck is this called? Mm -hmm. And he was just like, just going mad and he was like, can I have a picture? And I just thought, no, go away. Like that, that's a bit weird. Like it was my birthday in June and me and my mates went to a restaurant and we put that we, we took a picture that was in this restaurant. I've gone outside, I've come back and my mates on the reception phone of the of the restaurant. I'm thinking, what's she doing? She's always doing something weird. Mm -hmm. I said, what are you doing? And she's going, no, 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 like this on the phone. So she put the phone on, she went, you're not going to believe it. I said, what? She went, this guy has seen your Instagram. He's, he's, he's fucking rang the restaurant where I am saying, can I take Ava out on a date? What? what sort of nutter does that? I said, you should have given me the phone. She went, no, because I knew you would have gone mad. That is creepy. Yeah, but like... again, do you have to not entertain it, but because it's fans, do you have to kind of... I just, I'm just like really vanilla. Like, I don't, I, no. How I... do you get treated in the streets? Have you ever had yeah, any no. abuse or anything? No, never. You're fucking messing. No, you'd punch fuck out them <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Why are they going to give me shit? Like, sort your own lives out, babe. I've got skeletons in the closet. Oh, because I know Georgie had some grief yeah, back in yeah, Scotland. Yeah, Georgie, yeah, but... Yeah, she but did. again, she's smaller as well. Yeah, like, Do you know what I mean? To be honest, no. No one really, no one really bothers me. I've not... 
you think they're scared of you? Probably. I <laughs> know. I don't know. I don't know, but they don't like. I don't really give anyone. Like, like I said, what people see of me is all happy, outgoing, sits, ass, this, this, that, that. What they want to see. So, who would give me shit? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not bullying anyone. I'm not picking on anyone. I'm not, I'm, I'm not like saying anything about politics or parliament. Or you know, I'm not doing anything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to, for him to say anything. What's the worst thing to say? I can see you sucking dick. What? Well, don't you do it? Who's not? Exactly. That's what Fuck I mean. Sake. What? Don't you do it? No. Do you want some tips? What about? <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of mine. Is there? Uh, what about having a family settling down, kids? Um. Does that scare you? No, not really. I just. No, I just. I just don't think I want any. Is that the truth though? No, it is the Are truth. Are you scared that because of the industry you're in to have kids? Yeah, like I think you've got to pick, and I'll, this is I think what different what the difference between me and other girls. I've picked my career and I've picked to have a career and I don't think in my eyes I'm probably going to get slated for saying this because I know a lot of girls who have kids in porn but I don't think that it's right that you take your kids to school and you know this and not take your kids to school and they'll go oh your mum's a porn star I've seen your mum do this I've seen your mum do that it's not fair on the kids but I'm not saying that once you come out of the industry that like I think there's a difference but when you're active in the industry mm -hmm. this is how I see it you're active in the porn industry you've got one post on your Twitter with three cocks in your face you've got another post at your three year old's three year old's birthday party mm -hmm. like no you're crossing over too much so do you think it's one or the other I think it's one or the other uh, because of the social media now everybody can see everything it, it would be difficult I'd imagine listen it's a job if you're in that job yeah. I can understand it but looking at from the outside if you're taking your kids to school the, the pressure that they must receive especially at secondary school yeah, with the videos and photos I mean. it would yeah. it would dishearten you no matter how much you condition them you can't this is what I mean and I think it's I don't think that's fair and I chose to have a career but is that fear with you as well maybe fear of commitment fear of no, no not, nothing like that like li listen if I met someone and you know I wanted to be with him that'd be it like I'd stop everything do you think you would though for you yeah, but they'd have to have enough money to support me. <laughs> I wouldn't be stopping for no one. <laughs> Fuck, why? You know what uh -huh. I mean? I've worked my ass off to get where I am. Why mm. would I stop for someone who's not going to support me? So take away the cameras, the dick, the boss lady image, yeah. take away that character. What do you do What do you do that makes you happy? Compared, oh, I don't say... You're that... going to think I'm dead boring, but... No, I want to know. Like, I don't really... Like, when I'm at home and I'm just, like, with my family a lot and, like... I'm... Like, I, I like my, my, my secret book and my meditation and my crystals. And you're going to think I'm like a weirdo. No, no, I do all that That's shit. what I like. And, like, obviously, I live in a really rural area, as you can see. So, I, I, you know, I like going out for walks and stuff. And I also like getting me eggs from the chickens. Fuck's sake. Are you I, a vegetarian or anything? No, babe. I just like the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what about, so, the secret then, the law of attraction? Yeah, I love all that. Do you believe in that? Yeah, I do. And as in crystals, more spiritual? Um, I believe, I mean, th there's... There's things where you can say, I believe in this, I believe in that. I really believe that, like, if you give something out good, you get it back better ten times over. Mm -hmm. I think if you're nice to people, people are always nice to you. I don't think you should, like, there's no point in being nasty to people. It doesn't bring you any more happiness. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make your life any better if you're cutting someone off. Definitely not. Do you that. know what I mean? And I believe in that and I'm a proper believer in, you know, if you think you can do something, like I come from, I dropped out of college when I was 16. I had no qualifications, nothing. And to be where I am now, you don't get that from, you know. Are you proud got, of yourself? Like, yeah, of course I'm proud of myself. Like I never thought from where I've got, like from where I come from, I always knew I'd be all right, but mm. I didn't think I'd be where I am today. Yeah, definitely. And for anybody watching, it doesn't matter what life you're in, doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're as long as you're happy, but you must be truly honest with yourself also. You've got to be like there's no point in like you can't <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. If you pube. if you're gonna be a pants <laughs> pube that was one of yours from before. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you don't come on this show for fucking nothing. <laughs> Pay the pool. <laughs> um, yeah, I think if you're doing porn, you've got to be like dead open in what you're doing and well, that's, that's a literally. given. <laughs> no, but you have, you can't like so, so, like you get some girls who oh I do this but I don't do that oh, I do this but I don't do that stop being a fucking princess you take cock we all do mm -hmm. like own it if you're good at it own it don't try and shy away from it like you, you'll never be able to shy away from something that's on the internet yeah. it's as simple as that so you either own it 
or you come out of it. I think a lot of people who are struggling with trolls as well, I think the best thing to do is come off social media. I've done it, and you know what? I went to Marbella um, this summer. I had, like, I rented a place out there, and, you know, it was just amazing to be out there. Obviously, I was, that's when my social media got took off me, mm -hmm. but I was still shooting out there. I was still doing my own thing, and for me, not being on that, it was a bit of, like... It was a bit like therapy. Like I could do what I wanted and I wasn't thinking, oh, what do I look like? Or let me get a selfie or let me let me, let me me tag this location or let me do this. And it, I could just be me. And now I've actually put um, a reminder on my phone. So if I go over an hour and 30 on my Instagram a day, I just don't go on it. Yeah. Like I just think, no, that's enough. I'm not letting social media ru like rule my life. It is an illusion and it is a mind fuck, man, but you can portray yourself as a great happy life on of social media. Listen, I Every, did, Everybody yeah. does it. I've done it myself yeah and you can portray that great image where listen i believe if you've got a great life and a great story don't you don't need to, do need to post it all the time you need to find the balance which is difficult because we look at other people's lives and we think they've got a great life and it puts you in a bit of the depression mm. even though you don't know the full extent of actually their life behind the scenes yeah definitely like half the people who you see on air who've got like this this that that they're going home and like they're unhappy mm -hmm. it's not it's like social media is an illusion Social media gives people the platform to boast. Social media gives people the platform to sit there and say, yeah, this is who I am and this is what I've got. Mm -hmm. That's what it does to people. And then that's when people start getting like, oh, I want this and jealous and this and that. And it's 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 bad. Like I don't I don't put that stuff on social media. I put my locations, where I am, what I'm doing. It's not about, my social media is my work. It's not to try and make someone feel bad about because they've not got what this what they see other mm -hmm. people doing. Do you meditate? Yeah, I love it. Calm the mind. Sh shut yeah. down a bit. Yeah, I have to. I have to. I've, do you know what? Every morning I meditate. I always do like a 10 minute in the morning and I always have it on before I go to bed. And at the moment I'm listening to this um, I will affirmations. Do you, do you write affirmations down? All the time. Same. Yeah, all the time. I, I love all that stuff. For anybody that's in the struggle and anybody... See, the mind the mind only repeats what it knows. Yeah. So if you break that and write down something different and start repeating that to yourself, then you'll start con conditioning your mind to start believing that. I agree. And I it, massively agree in all that. Like, if you're... If you... Sometimes, if you wake up with a positive attitude and you wake up thinking, right, you know what? Today is going to be a good day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Set yourself a plan. When Goals. you've not got a plan, yeah. when you've not got yet a goal or a plan, you get sidetracked by other things or Instagram or this or Twitter or like shit. Who's asked? Yeah. Like you wake up and you think, right, today's a money making day. Mm -hmm. I'm waking up. I'm on my shit. I'm going to do that there, that there, that there, that there. By five o'clock, I put my feet up and my work's done. Get your crystals out. Get me crystals out and sit there. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. I think for anybody, and even though, listen, I don't care what guest is on, we we'll always touch on the positivity and to better yourself and believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's only you that can change as a person if you are struggling. And just if you're unsure, the universe becomes unsure. So have a plan when you wake up in the morning, which is difficult. It's easier for you to say it now because you've worked so hard to get that. Yeah. For people in the struggle, it's difficult to come out that bubble uh, I understand misery and pain I, listen, and I understand for them that, yeah. I think you've got I think people who are like struggling meditation is the best thing for it regardless mm -hmm. of what what you could be up here you could be it doesn't matter like I think it's for everyone do you drink much not really no I'm not a very good drinker I get pissed too quick do you do you yeah. cause it what? troublemaker no just like loud yeah Larry couldn't no no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no no I just like to have a good time like, I like to have a little dance and stuff yeah have you ever have you heard of ayahuasca? No, what's that? We just made a documentary on it. It's a they say it's a spiritual drug. It's a, a tea you drink. Oh fuck that! No, tea. I don't like. Is it like trippy? Yeah, no you chance. Trip balls. No chance. No, nah. no, it's not for me. All that. It's fucking what crazy anyway. Tripping? I'm fucking massive. <laughs> no, we're like just like just like, no, not for me. We all were that. in a room with sixty people and uh, it was, I was tripping balls. People, listen, I believe the placebo effects are big. Thing comes into play where you can trick the mind if somebody says drink this. No, you see, I like to just be like clear headed. I can't be arsed with all that trippy shit. How's the hangovers? Oh, I die. Do you? I die. Yeah, that's why I don't really drink that much. Like, I'm not drank for. Just trying to think last time I had a drink. Well, I was I was going to have a drink in Dubai and I got there and it was fucking dry night, so that was out the question. Was it? Yeah, so maybe like two months ago, three months ago, I don't really drink that much. I'm too busy. If I drink, and I'm on over. I'm fucked for two days. Do you not get something like a PA? Yeah, I have a PA. I have a PA. I have a receptionist. 
Do you? Yeah, of course I do. I can't handle all this shit myself. Of course. You looking for a tea boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving forward to the future, you're clearly succeeding. You're a global success. You're good at what you do. So I've heard. Fuck off, James. I'm saying, honestly. I'm not a big porn fan, to be honest. Um, <laughs> You're full of shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to say that a straight face. I swear to God, I'm, I mean, not, I'm not a big fan. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really. Oh, I just right. like the fucking the real thing. I don't really kind so of. So do I. Everyone loves a bit of cock, though, don't they? Steph, you want to answer that? <laughs> so, moving forward for your life, you're doing well, you're flying. What's the plans for you for the future? What's your goals? Tell me. Um, I think my goals are always going to be to be happy. I don't know about what I want to do. In, my job can take me anywhere in the world and can open doors any single day. And, like I won't know. But if I'm happy with what I'm doing, then I'll be happy where I am. People see the jet style life, the jet set lifestyle, but that gets boring as well. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm sick of flying. Yeah, and that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, like like I was. Yeah, like and it tires me out, and I've got a sore knee, so it hurts me even more. What's that with? Because sometimes oh, yeah, you, yeah, I yeah. told you, didn't yeah, I? I got a Thai massage and she clicked me knee, the silly twat. Really hurts well. Do you, you exercise? Yeah, I have to. Yeah, because well, I'm getting old, babe. Do you want to mention your age? 34. Fucking old. <laughs> Game! Get her off this fucking oh, show. <laughs> fucking embarrass me. Oh, this chick will be on here. Oh, I'm I'm a, I'm a, Listen, you look good for 34. Am I the oldest? No, no I don't oh, think so. No, there's been fucking people in. 50s and that, aren't they? 60s. Right, that's all right then. But you're still old. <laughs> oh, you're a con. <laughs> What's it? Does it scare you though, getting old and going, okay, no. I'm so... Tell the truth. It doesn't. Why would it scare me getting old? Like, I can still what I'm, I can still do what I'm doing now when I'm 80 and I won't even have to you be in front shut of the camera. Shut up, fuck's sake. I don't mean shooting porn. I mean, I mean behind a camera, producing, uh -huh. directing, making films. Like, I can do all that till... I don't need to be in front of a camera for the rest of my life. Do you think you've been in this industry for the rest of your life? Yeah, because I love it. Do you? Yeah, I love I love understand it now. I understand it. I understand how it works. I understand how, you know, to get recognition. I understand where to get your sources from. I just I I understand it. And you know, I think with any business you've got to know your bit you can't walk into a job and and, and not know anything about it and expect to succeed. Like, you've got to do your own work. And I mean, people probably think, oh, working porn, all she's doing is shagging. No, it's a lot oh. more like now, the stuff that I'm doing is a lot more complex than lying on my back. On, well, I never really lied on my back anyway, but mm -hmm. like, it's a lot more complex than what, than shoot, just shooting a porn scene for a company. Now you're organising, say, like one of my shows, I've got five girls, I'm organising all the travel, this, this, that. I'm getting the locations, I'm getting the shoots, I'm getting the videographer, the photographer. Like, it's a big day. I've got to plan the whole day and then make sure that all the girls are happy, make sure I've got the right footage for, like, if someone's asked for a private custom, make sure all that's done. Then I've got to perform myself with the girls at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. So after I've done a full day's work doing that, then I've still got to turn it on for the camera and say, right, here's Ava, let's have it. I can see you writing a book. <laughs> so I do. Not a fucking camera sutra, but a book of your life. Have you ever thought about doing that? I've wrote one. No, after the next new one. After. Um, yeah, I probably would. Since you've achieved everything. I, yeah, I would. I'd like to do one. Um, but, I mean, there's a lot more, there's a lot of things that I'd like to touch upon, really, in a book. But then I just think... Mm, but not a biography? Yeah, but then I just think, I don't really think people would be really that bothered about hearing my life. Like, But again, if you've got such a hit, bigger, remember, you've got a lot bigger following than a lot of people who's been mega stars for the last 20, 30 oh, years. Does that make mad. you feel good? <laughs> yeah, tell me again. Say it Jesus. again. <laughs> yeah, you've got, a, you've got millions of people following you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That is fucking crazy. I know, it is mad. Do you know what I mean? It is mad. But this is the thing, and this is this is what, like when people say you've got your fans, you've got your base, like you, when you've got, and porn fans are like proper, like cult fans, like they'll follow you wherever you go. If they're into you, They'll follow you on any any platform, anywhere you want to go. How many wanks can you have? But I know, but it's, I don't know. They must just like wanking over me. I just, I just think they just watch and go, oh, I really enjoyed that show, but do fuck all. Do you know, sometimes I remember, I remember when we did the camp show and we had like, we have, so our camp shows, we have people interacting with us right. and like everyone was like firing in, going, do this, do that. And then they had this like guy in the background going, Ava, I just think you're fantastic. <laughs> I was even wanking, I was just like... Right, on the, the, the cam shot, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen someone do? Well, I don't really do cam because I've, it, I can't, it's, it infuriates me. 
-hmm. I can't sit there and chat shit to a fucking... Uh, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, uh, all the girls who work on Live Bunny, they're amazing at what they do. They're amazing. They'll sit there. They'll. For me, I haven't got time to be sitting there on a cam. I've just not mm -hmm. got time. But when girls do cam and they make a, a, a living out of it, they're smashing it. They're doing well. They're charging whatever they want, £3, £4 a minute. You've got people on there from all these other places like coming on. They're making like like hundreds and hundreds of pounds a day. I'm in the wrong industry. <laughs> aren't I? So before we finish up, would you like to finish up on anything? Um, thank you for having me. It's up and a pleasure. Thanks. This is the cleanest you've ever been when the cameras were put <laughs> off, which is a good thing. Yeah, wait till they stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. No, she's not. Listen, it's been an absolute fucking pleasure. Thank you. Um, it's great to see you being so successful. Thank and no you. doubt there's plenty more to come. Hope so. Fingers um, crossed, touch wood. Oh, there is. You've got a great mindset. You're a very strong lady. Boss lady, no fucking about. You know exactly what you want, and I believe you'll get it. I believe this is only the start of another amazing journey. So thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Get there, ma. <laughs> right, we'll go. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. No problem.